Uh, today, I give a presentation. It seems it's connect with the last year's in Budapest, uh, in Budapest uh, presentation. In that presentation, we talk about how we will make the image medicine into family. Yeah. We, at that moment, we have the idea to build a system. So today, we are going to discuss this image medicine's mechanism. Before we start to see a video, uh, so can we switch on, switch off the light? Yeah, this is where Image Medicine come from. We invited our grand, 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 grand master come in. So it's new technology which made 2,000 years ago the master speaker again. Do you know how he came here? Yeah, he sit in the big one center and then come to us. And later we will sit inside the big one center to visit him. So uh, the Chinese image medicine, we are going to talk these uh, three parts. First is the research part. Second is the image. How to get the image means diagnosis. Third is how to change the image, that is the healing. So image medicine, everything based on image. Yeah. So what is the image? When we talk about image medicine, we always say, what is the image? It's so difficult to give a definition what the image is. In Chinese, image means xiang. Uh, in China also, xiang means elephant. So the image is like the elephant. We know there is a story about seven blind person touch the elephant. Everybody has his own opinions what the elephant is. About the image, the same. Yeah. And people will have many different kind of opinions before the third eye open. It's like the elephant. Uh, before a blind person open their eye, they will understand in different ways. But after they open their eye, they will understand in the same way. Right? Right. So the same, uh, if we develop our image medicine very well, everybody third eye open, or we use some other method, for example, use the equipment, to take measure what the image is. And then everybody will have the same understanding. As we know from ancient China, from ancient Chinese literatures, they already tell us. In China, there is uh, the most miracle books. Uh, if you read these books, maybe you will get a great wisdom. I maybe get crazy. <laughs> Why? Because we cannot even logically thinking what the, this book is. It is called Yi Jing. As we know now, everybody has telephone, computer. The basic theory of computer science is based Yi Jing. Yi Jing deal with yin yang, zero, one. And then eight numbers, 16 numbers, etc. In this book, it especially describes it as a human being about our manner of thinking or manner of working. So first, we have images. Yeah. When we try to understand something, try to know something or to communicate, first is images. Imagine. Even 5,000 years ago, there were no languages, no English, no Russian, no Chinese. So at that moment, people still understand, try to understand each other in what? 
in image. Think about yourself. When you are seeing something, sometimes you don't think in Russian, you don't think in Ukrainian, you don't think in English, you don't think in Hungarian, you don't think in Chinese, because at that moment you find your brain, the procedure of thinking, that is image, it's like moving, movie, a picture is moving, okay? Thinking, basically, naturally, before the languages, before education, that is a procedure of images, of pictures moving, like movie. Yeah, this is not only human beings, for all animals. We can say for all lives, the procedure of thinking, that is a procedure of pictures moving. So thinking is movie. Yeah, when we have a dream, we see movies. We met, when we see somewhere, close their eye, sit in the chairs in the park, think about previous 30 years ago, when you are young guys or girls, the first time you meet, you had love here. Ah, that is no words. It's that his pictures. Yeah. So picture let us to know what it is. So image medicine just based on this image. And then what the image is? Image. Yeah, image in general, if we give a definition, usually we say image is what you see with your mind. What you see with your mind, not with the eye, or what you see with your heart. So that, that means it is not our regular pictures what we see with our regular eyes. But the image can show us what the body is, yeah, what is energy, what is uh, uh, spirit. If we meditate, try to see further what the life is, and then we will have the images in the yin-yang level. Yeah. And yin-yang level, that is also one part of uh, images. Yin-yang we cannot see in our regular eyes, but still we can see with third eyes. So the third eyes see in the yin yang level what the life is. If we see what the life is, we will definitely see what the health state is, what the sick problem, sick state is. Yeah. So if we can see the life, what it is, in this level, we will understand what the sickness is. If we continue to see, and then we find here is very interesting. Yeah, like I explained. When you try to see something, you have something. Oh, from nothing, you, if you try to see the sickness, you get what's wrong with it. If you try to see what is another world, you see another world. Before you see, you don't know what it is. So this is like empty state. And if we just wait, we see nothing. So it's like empty, huge empty. Continue to see what it is. Yeah, Lao Tzu said, I, seen, I don't understand already. Cannot imagine what it is. So it's called Tao. Tao is not put. Tao means don't know. Right, so we usually translate what the Tao is. Tao is put, road. That is another meaning. Not here, not in the spiritual direction where the Tao is. Tao means we know it's come from there. From Tao, we just don't know what that further what it is. It's like in physics, we know that particles still exist, but beyond, no particles. What is it? Ah, somebody said it's strings, strings. Yeah. But beyond strings, what is that? We don't know. And then Lao Tzu said, we don't know. So I call it Tao. Don't go further, just call it Tao. Yeah. So Tao produced one, empty. 
two, uh, one produce two, two produce three. So this is the way how we understand the life. We deal with medicine. Where the Chinese medicine come from? As we know, Chinese medicine in general came from the shamanism. Uh, we call it Wu Yi. At that time, there was no doctors. No doctors. Doctors later, they gave the name the doctors. Before that, it's kind of person. Uh, in Chinese, called Wu is similar like in the here called shaman. What kind of this person? This person is that person from the birth or from some kind of medical practice, they, get the, they got the abilities. They, can, they could communicate with other lives. They could communicate with souls. They had certain eyes. They could see their sickness. They could find the method how to heal. So that called shaman or wu yi in Chinese. And then later from there, they take the knowledge and then Taoism, Deism, etc. Other religions start to form. Before religions, is no. Before religions, at that moment can be only the spiritual, called spiritual system. And Chinese medicine now, if we research what it is, we found from that time there were books. Yeah. There are two kind of schools, one called Yellow Imperial, Imperial School. This school in university, even everybody who deals with Chinese medicine read these books. Yes, there is a book. It's called Yellow Imperial's Internal Medicine Book. This book you still can read. But it's difficult to understand completely because Without meditation, even simply qi. If you never feel what the qi, how you can understand what the qi is? Yeah. In this book, talking a lot about how to use acupuncture to heal. Uh, when we use acupuncture, also there is one concept that is get qi. We put a needle in the body, you turn the needle. Yeah. If you don't get chi. It is isn't like nothing in the needle. If you get chi, wow, you cannot move it. Yeah. So still use chi. Chinese medicine from the yellow imperials from this book. Yeah. All series or method based on the chi. Even use herbs is also based on what the chi is. But another school is is more famous school, more popular school, that is Bianchue school. This is what I learned and you learned. This school called Bianchue school, the goal is he already visited us, but left again, left. Yeah. So his school, from the very beginning, you need to meditate to develop the third eyes. Not according the symptom to see what the like energy, what the cone is, what the heat is, but you need to see what the disease, to see. So about this, Bianchua School, before we didn't have books which de describe in this school, but now a few years ago, yeah, they found the book, found a book which stayed underground in the water for more than a thousand years. So this book, especially more than 70% of the books talk about the images. You can see pulse image. Uh, yeah. So about the healing, use images. A lot talking about images how we determine a person's serious disease, if he will die or not, also by images. Yeah. So after this book has been found, now in China, more and more professors talk about the images. 
before, before this system, the image medicine returned to China, before this book had been found, no professors talk about the images. Now it become hot. People are talking images very much. Yeah. So you see, yeah, this is from the ground. They dig it and find wow the books. Yeah. And somebody already translated the ancient words into modern words, what the book is. This is Bianchi School. You know, even like 10 years ago, when I talked about the Bianchi School uh, in China to give the seminar image method, nobody thinks this is a school. Until one student from a medical university found a book which talk about the Bianchi school. And then he said, oh, master, you know what you taught, that is true. I said, I never tell lies, that is definitely true. <laughs> um, no, you know, I found the book. Oh, I see. Before you found a book, you will never believe, yeah, this is true. But this many years have passed. So one year uh, in Ch Chinese, TCMs, they are still called traditional Chinese medicine, because it's Chinese medicine. In order to uh, make it different from Western medicine, we call it traditional Chinese medicine. The official or government, governmental the association deal with Chinese medicine. A few years ago, they had the, how to say, they gather a specialist and make judgment what the image medicine is. Finally, they said, this is ancient Chinese medicine. It has a effective method to diagnose, and it have an effective effect to heal many chronic disease. So this is just in the association. And la this, year, ah, this year, just this year, and the Chinese Medical Association set up a Bianchi School research bus in Kundawell. That, from that moment, 18 April, Kundawell is was an official research bus in Chinese medicine. Yeah, so the official, official part. Uh, that means the Chinese government, at least the, the Chinese medical officers really believed Bianchi School need research further. So, and then we come back again. So what the image is? What the image is? So understand the image is easy. We can understand in this way. Yeah. What we can see with our regular eye, we see colors, we see shapes, we see uh, size. In general, we see the light, if it brightness or dark. So the same, with third eyes, we also see the same things. But third eyes see inside the body. Third eyes see invisible light. Our regular eye only see visible light. Invisible light we can see that, but still third eye show us, let us understand in the mind that in the same way, colors, brightness, shapes, size, etc. Different kind of forms. Yeah. So this is the image. Image can show us what? Connect with our mind. If we try to understand the health condition, and then the image tells us what's wrong with our disease, with our body. Yeah. So we, yeah, we use this image to determine what's the problem. If our mind to, disease, to determine to what to see. For example, what kind of herbs can heal? And then we can get we can get a picture about what herbs also in picture, and then we we'll understand what the plant is. Yeah. So for example, when we use this image to diagnose, we get the picture. 
Yes, this is just like yeah, I, you, in my computer, I, when I diagnose, just write in this way. In the body, where there is uh, colors, where there are grease shapes like this. This is called images. For example, yeah, with the third eye, also we see like the regular eye saw, like boom, boom, bamboo, yeah, green one. Because at that moment in my mind is how to heal breast cancer with some herbs. And then you see a clear bamboo leaves. The bamboo leaves, when you, you close your eye, but in your mind there is a picture about like this, bamboo. So at this moment, the image is a similar like what we see with our regular eyes. So what the image is? Yeah, if we think, start to think, what really the image is? Uh, we know when we are thinking, there are electricity appears. Maybe the image can be understood in EEG, in electric yeah, graphics. Yeah, we know. Yeah, our regular eye only sees a visible light. Third eye can see invisible light. But where's that part of invisible light? If it is invisible light, it's also a kind of magnetic electricity waves. Probably someday we can find where they are to take measure it with some equipment. But what the image is, yeah, it's difficult to research because people cannot see. If together somebody can see with some uh, physics, some specialist, together to research, probably can find what kind of waves this image shows. And also, when we are thinking, even without thinking, the brain, the heart can, uh, can emit electricity. When the electricity is right, it's healthy. When the electricity shows wrong, that means we have sickness. For example, in the heart, if we see the heart, there are some dark spot. The heart wrong. Uh, that can be with the Im uh, with the image. The dark spot means the heart wrong. That can be the electricity also wrong. The electricity from the heart also wrong. So what's the kind of relationship between that electricity and the image? Probably in this way we research further, we found out uh, what kind of magnetic electricity field there connect with what kind of uh, images. Uh, a few years ago, a Hungarian student sent me a book. Uh, in that, that is a German Germany doctor who found a secret. What kind of secret? Because the CT, the computer, the CT, take pictures of brain, and then they found some ring. At the beginning, they, they thought, the dog thought, this, this equipment wrong. So they returned back to, to uh, that the company Siemens. And Siemens engineer said, nothing wrong. And then they tried again and still found some rings. That is no sickness. That is image. Yeah. When people get emotional trauma, it's no, not physical disease, but there is an image. This image can be found by Simon's CT. That means the image anyway can be some electromagnetic field, can be something else. Anyway, the equipment can find it. So with the CT, with MRI, this kind of equipment, probably we can find out what the image is. Especially when people get sick, serious, the image is very strong. At that moment, 
the equipment should find what it is. Yeah. And also our muscle have electricity. And when we see the body, also we can see sometimes in the muscle the wrong images. If there are wrong images, sometimes we see the electricity wrong in the muscle. And also there are a magnetic field in the body. So we are living in the, elect, uh, in the magnetic field. Without magnetic field, we will get sick. That means our body is always moving inside a magnetic field. And inside the body there are inside the body there are particles with uh, plus or minus. So when it is moving in this magnetic field, it will produce electricity. So from the heart, from brain, from muscle, even from everywhere in the body, there are always there are electricity. Probably this kind of electricity. Yeah, if something wrong with this kind of electricity, it, we get sick. From this point of view, maybe the image, maybe the image is a kind of charge or yeah, minus or plus this charge. But still, this need, this that discussion, just imagination. We need to do the laboratory work to find it, what, to find out what it is. And some research said our body has a bioelectric magnetic field, but how we can take measure it? Still, you yeah, need some research. Okay, so we know the image. Yeah. There, the image existed, but the image we can see with third eye. Image can show something wrong, okay? But how can we use some other way to get the image? We know the Bianchi school from very beginning, his teacher taught him to open third eyes to see the image. Yeah, this is original way. We use third eye to see, to get the image. Yeah, third eye can, can be drawn in this way, can on the hand. Yeah. The modern research also found the third eye connect with brains, inside the brain, that pineal gland area, connect with that organ. The modern equipment, like what we said, the MRI, for example, it can get the images in from the body, but use the nuclear magnetic, nuclear uh, technical knowledge. And also we know CT, the computer tomography, also use a new technology to get the images from inside body, definitely. That means now, already there are this kind of equipment. This equipment try to realize the function of third eye, our images, but still is not completely. As we know, human beings always have these creativities, try to extend our senses. We have third eye, yeah, maybe someday also we can extend these abilities, like uh, we can extend the bird's abilities, we create airplanes, we extend the fish abilities, we create the ship, uh, submarines, etc. So probably one day, I think this will come, this day will come, and human beings will create, create some equipment. This equipment can let us get the images. It is not same like MRI or CD. It will be much better. It's more close third eye. Yeah. Uh, today I will 
show our research. This is a picture uh, how we deal with the image medicine, image healing. Look this part. This part we call it the equipment to take images. This equipment we are creating, we are creating, is a little bit start to work, not completely. Yeah, because it's upon the sensor. If we use a right sensor, we take picture, take a picture from your body. And we use filter, don't see the visible light. We only take that part, invisible light, and get this health state, take it away. And then what's left, that is a sick, sick part, sickness, the sickness image. That is what we need. So this is a, this is a new model telephone. Uh, it is a little bit different. Other is different, uh, same, only the camera is different. Yeah. So this is what we want. We want to create this kind of cameras, which we can take the Im to get the images from the body. Certainly they need more research. As we know, after we already know what the image can be, and then next we need to research how we can change the image. There are many methods we can change images. But if we, from physics, we understand exactly what the image is, and we can probably use physical way to change image. And then that will be heal sickness very quickly, especially like cancer. One side the cancer already showed there are charge minors, charge minors around the tumor too much. And then we, this is the image from physics. And then we can use some waves or frequency or electromagnetic field, something else, and to change that charges, the minus charge, charger and then it be, can be cured quickly. Yeah. Because life, anyway, life looks like life, but in the yin-yang level, it's only minus plus. Minus plus, this is yin-yang level. Good, and uh, how can we change the image? You see what it is, the big one center. So one research is we want to use our human beings' mind, human beings' vibration of energy to amplify it naturally. And then this right energy or vibration will make the sick, sick person vibrate together. And then the wrong image can disappear, can be destroyed. We, you, we amplify the good energy, the wrong image, uh, the uh, right image, to vibrate a sick person. Yeah, and then the sick person, under the strong other frequencies, can be changed. So, and then the image will disappear. So this is why we so strongly want to quickly to build this Big one center. This is one purpose. And here the healing can be, you go inside, meditate two hours, your image has been changed. Yes, and it doesn't matter what disease, it can be very quickly, completely, strongly be changed. Certainly before that, yeah, we still come back, how to use image to change image. Yeah, how we, yeah, we use our hand to send our mind and energy in this way to change image. So our mind, the mind is also kind of energy. This energy has high frequency, and this energy can be take measured, and this energy can be amplified. 
and then we make some wrong thinking or we take off, take out only that wrong, uh, right thinking. And you know, this thinking, this frequency can change the sickness. Yeah. Beautiful inside. Okay. So this is uh, what we developed from last year, the, this program here, image healing. Uh, because the uh, internet to access Chinese uh, is too, cannot work, so I copied it. And then we get this picture. And then uh, here we can, this is image healing. We push this part, and then we get here. And this is yeah, how we can get her image. We put it here, and we put here, yeah, you need the camera start to work. You, the camera take your whole body's photo in order to yeah, make it more correctly. Uh, we take the tongue's photo also, and take tongue, yeah, and then take the hand and a face. So this is one example I just made it today. So this girl sent the picture, like sent the whole body's picture, is almost okay, and tongue's picture, and hand's picture, yeah, hand picture, and the face picture, and then push to get the image, what the problem can be. And then, so the result is her information, and here is her waiting. You need to waiting, waiting, waiting for the result. So the, the computer will analyze these pictures. After that, after it's depend, the situation can be need a few minutes, can be need a few hours, and then we get the image. So the image shows the thyroid, some problem with thyroid. After get we are wrong the thyroid automatically, there will be a healing about the thyroid. Yeah, and then, yeah, heal. Next is with image, change image. Use image, change image. So heal the thyroid. So use this image, heal the image. Xian Zai Wu Lai Liao Yu Ni De Jia Zhuang Xian I speak it certainly still in Chinese, and we, uh, we can make it into uh, just from the uh, the original video. I seem to already have the Russian name. So the bigger, smaller, bigger, smaller, we activate thyroid, make the blood circulation better for heal, to heal the thyroid. And sometimes you, we know inside the thyroid there are some hard, no, hard, hard nuts, no, uh, Spot. If you can please relax, just follow the video. Use the mantra Xiao to destroy some hard spot in the thyroid. Xiao, see this energy. Xiao, 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 Xiao. Yeah, you can feel your thyroid. If Xiu. you just follow it, you can feel Xiu. your thyroid. It will be very Xiu. strong. You can receive this. Xiu. So this is your image video to heal the sickness. Yeah. 
Yeah, let let us enjoy one more. How to heal the heart? Look, how to heal the heart? Heart. Now, I will heal your heart. Please be calm and relax. Relax. Sit down, please. Relax your body. Now feel your heart. Let your heart bigger, smaller, bigger, smaller. Open the vein vessels. Bigger, smaller, bigger, smaller, bigger, smaller, bigger, smaller, bigger, smaller, bigger, smaller. Bigger, smaller, bigger, smaller, bigger, smaller. 好，现在继续体验你的心脏。Let continue experience your heart. Feel your heart. Now wake up your heart. 懒惰的细胞。Wake up your lazy cells in the heart. You first you with your right hands pat. Wake up your heart. Sing. Sing, wake up, sing, wake up, sing, wake, sing, wake up, 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 sing, wake up. 好，全身放松。Now relax your body. Continue experience your heart. Feel your heart. Now I use a mantra. Hua to melt. Han, bad stuff in your heart. Like this, look the heart, the wrong stuff will be melted. Feel it. So you see the heart become more and more clear. Some. Okay. Yeah. So thank you very much. Yeah.